Hi, I'm Katrina Hawking, and I work for the ALS Association Evergreen Chapter. Hi, I'm Robert Hawking, and my father had ALS. The ALS Association Evergreen Chapter helps families living with ALS in Washington, Idaho, Montana, and Alaska, and we've been doing these virtual wine tastings in support of them. So welcome to this wine tasting. Uh, this wine tasting is going to focus on uh, Malbec. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Yes, yeah, so um, I thought we might try doing Malbec, and then I thought, well, let's try comparing Washington Malbec to Malbecs from other countries, other places around the world. Great idea. So where are our Malbecs from, Robert? So we're doing uh, France, Argentina, and Washington. Okay. Yep. Which uh, one are we going to start with? So we're going to start with um, this, which is uh, Crocus Latelier uh, Malbec de Cahors, and it's 2014. So um, this is from the uh, Cahors region in France, and the Cahors region in France is in southwest France. It um, uh, used to be. Um, popular a long time ago, in fact a very long time ago it had a higher reputation somewhat, some, some thought it had a higher reputation than the Bordeaux region, but the, the the merchants in Bordeaux controlled the port so they got to control which wine shipped and so that's where <laughs> the, 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 that helped establish their dominance. Um, they used to do their wines very tannicky and they used to be called black wines. Interesting. Well, this one's not black. It's got this sort of beautiful dark red color. So it's um, very French in style, quite um, dry, not as fruity as we get from um, uh, you know, the, the Argentinian ones we get a lot. Of. Um, but it'll go well, go well with, uh, yeah, go well with food. Right? Yeah, this one would uh, be challenging to drink on its own, mm -hmm. I think. But I'm looking forward to, to having this with a meal, maybe a little bit later. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, um, uh, yeah, some sort of something uh, fairly hearty. Um, Malbec often is considered. Um, people suggest that you have it with. Um, Sort of fairly lean meat. It has a, um, a fairly intense flavour, but it doesn't have a uh, it doesn't have a long finish like uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Right. So, what maybe some venison, mm -hmm. something quite lean, or maybe some of that um, horseshoe bend ranch um, beef that mm -hmm. we've been enjoying. Yeah. It's very. It's quite structured. Mm -hmm. right? So the ALS Association Evergreen Chapter re relies on support from individual donors like you for our fundraising, for keeping our services going. And we're going into our walk season. So a great way that you can support the chapter is to form a walk team. The walk is going to be in your, a walk in your neighborhood this year. It's on the 25th of September and we already have a lot of great teams that are getting together. I really want to do a shout out to all of our team captains um, because we are relying on them more than ever as we're doing the walks in a safe and socially distanced way again this year. So thank you to all of our team captains across the four states that we are hosting walks. So, um, as I said, mentioned it, having with some food, uh, this is a little bit of um, Serrano uh, ham that I picked up today in uh, Pike Place Market at uh, De Laurentiis. Oh, well, that's quite lean, so yeah. let's see how this goes with this uh, wine. What do you think? Um, yeah, maybe a little bit salty for the, the to, um, uh, for this particular wine. I'm not sure. Mm. Well, let's move on to the um, the second wine. Right. So I, yeah, we we'll, we might circle back around to this one towards the end, is when we come up with the perfect combination. Okay. And so um, this one is an Argentinian wine. 
it's um Okay, it's um, Altos Las Hormigas uh, and it's uh, Val de Uco in Mendoza. Uh, so Val de Uco is a, um, a, a sub-region within Mendoza, so they, this, they, they, they're known for their um, uh, uh, having a slightly more elegant style than some of the rest of the um, uh, Argentinian wine, uh, Malbecs. Um, interesting, I, um, you may see on here, I, I, I've been pouring out today, well, at least for the first two, this third is in a, a screw cap, um, using a uh, Coravan um, uh, because I wasn't quite sure whether I actually wanted to fully open uh, three bottles of Malbec and whether we'd actually drink three bottles of Malbec in the next week. Three bottles uh, of Malbec is a lot to get through. <laughs> Especially as it's summer so, and, we put, and it's a bit warm, so we might want a uh, we might want a wipe. So, hold here for a second, Robert. Can you explain this uh, this device a little bit? Uh, okay. Well, this this device, um, uh, what it does is it has argon gas in here in here, and there's a there's a needle that that goes in, and so what it does is it pushes argon gas into the bottle and and then the um, uh, wine comes out but the argon gas is an inert gas so it um, uh, keeps the wine so the wine doesn't doesn't spoil like it does when it gets in touch with um, oxygen so you open the bottle without really opening the bottle it puts a it mm -hmm. puts a fine needle through yeah. there and the wine comes out through that yeah and fantastic let's let's go into to, 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 uh, Okay, so this one's the Argentine Malbec. Yeah, um, and this one's um, it's a um, it's a dark color, but it's I think it's a, it's a bit it's uh, the previous one was a sort of um, a, a bit more. Um, I think it's beginning. The, the previous one was beginning to get a little bit old, and it's beginning to get to, to, to this one is a nice ruby cut, a nice deep. Dark ruby color. Mm. It has an amazing finish. Um, yeah, there's um cherry, right, uh, and, and a little licorice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and cherry and licorice finish to it. Yeah, this one is. Uh, I, I like this one a lot. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and this one, this one definitely would be easier to on um, drinking on its own. Yeah, sure, you could drink this one easily on its own. I'm going to have it with a little bit of the uh, yeah, but yes. uh, this is the, one of the ones that you um, opened with the Coravin yes. needle. Not mm -hmm. too bad, because I would like to finish this bottle later. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think that one actually works better with the um, uh, the ham. With the ham. Than the, um, than the first one. No, I'm really enjoying that. So, <clears throat> um, I think I've, I've seen that there are other bottles by this producer uh, around uh, around that I see in the stores. But <clears throat> as I said, this is the Val de Uco 2016. Very nice. <laughs> So what do we have next, Robert? Okay, so our final wine is a Washington State one. Oh, that's a fun <coughs> bottle. Show the so, bottle. Okay, so this is um, Newsprint um, uh, Malbec 2018 uh, Columbia Valley, Washington. And it's uh, by uh, Guardian Cellars um, uh, in Woodenville, Washington. Um, and what are their grapes? Um, the grapes, well, the grapes are Columbia Valley, so oh, sure. they, okay. they, it, um, they, I don't think they specify more um, to, a, to a closer degree. Um, the I spilled a bit of the um, uh, what Washington State um, does does Malbec. Tends to, tends to be fairly common in some Bordeaux blends in Washington, in a similar way to that is in um, uh, Bordeaux in fairly small point. Uh, but then you do you do get uh, varietals like this one. So this one this one's um, definitely the darkest in colour of all of them. 
and uh, it's almost purpley. Yeah, so I think this this may be this may be related to its um, age. So this is 2018. So we went from a 2014 to a 2016 to a 2018. I wasn't quite sure which order to do to do these because they they're all uh, uh, comparable price, so they should be roughly comparable quality. So it's it's kind of and they're all the same grade. So I decided to do it this way because I think this one's probably going to be the most tannicky. Um, okay. And then, and uh, you know, uh, if we have that last, because it may make it harder to taste the others. Oh, I hadn't considered that. Yeah, it's still a little young. Yeah, it's, it, it is. It, there's um, uh, definitely fairly strong uh, tannins. I wonder. If, yeah, um, but there's a there's a um, there's kind of fruit that comes around the. It seems to come around the side of my mouth for me, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, I feel that. Um, and it's definitely, it's still easier going on its own than the, than the first one. Mm -hmm. it's yes. It's kind of got a, a, a more fruity, mm -hmm. um, what I would I think of as a classic Malbec mm -hmm. taste, but... Um, yeah. And see how this one does, does with the... Uh, mm. Well, which one was your favorite? Three Malbecs. This is the first time we've done... Well, we did. We've done um, three Bordeaux blends. Oh, we did three Bordeaux blends. Okay, well, this is our second one. If but this is the first time Malbec. we've done three varieties. Yeah. And which did, was there a, a clear favorite, Robert? What do you think? I think I like the Argentinian one best. Mm -hmm. Do you? Um, yeah, what about you? I don't know. I'm, I'm going with this Washington one, right. even though it's a little bit young. I'm enjoying all of that bright fruit that it still has, <laughs> has in it, and the tenons aren't bothering me. Um, well, thank you very much for watching. We sure enjoy doing these virtual wine tastings. We do rely on support for from individual donators. So to, if you'd like to make a donation, you can do so at our website or you can get involved in one of our upcoming events at our website. Another great way that you can help out is to set your Amazon account to Amazon Smile and designate the ALS Association Evergreen Chapter. Uh, and then you get uh, we, we get a little bit of money from every purchase that you make on Amazon. Or if you shop at Fred Meyers, you can set your Fred Meyers Community Rewards to the ALS Association Evergreen Chapter. And those are all great ways to help out. Um, we look forward to you joining us in our upcoming fundraising and walk season. And thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Cheers.